I do quite a bit of intact team work. And uh, I, when I have an intact team, that's the place that I use the group report. Um, I find that the value in the group report is that the individual has a, has a comparison for where they're at without having to um, fully disclose their entire assessment. So they get, a, they get a real good picture of where they're at versus the rest of the people in the group. That spurs a lot of dialogue around when you look at, um, so I use the uh, uh, slide out of the um, report, the, the, th the three highest subscales and the three lowest subscales for the group. And invariably, someone who, who is a little lower on uh, one of the subscales that's part of the three highest will say, so what does that look like? When, and, and can you talk to me a little bit about what it's like to have that level of skill? So for example, if someone is, uh, um, is high on empathy, um, I see that empathy in you and where do you find the energy, where do you find the capacity to be able to do that? Uh, so so I, I think that the, um, for me, the group reports are really great discussion starters for the team to start to, get, to, uh, to interact with each other. And, and it, once they start that, then the, the credibility and the commonality of the team grows stronger. Um, and, and we get higher levels of performance. When people know each other better and they trust each other better, you get higher levels of performance. And to me, that's what, that, uh, what those group reports are all about.